Good morning, should I say, and welcome to another how-to video. My name's Ditex, C2 at DVS. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Um, today's how-to video, we're going to show you the new white light positioning PTZ. It is half past five on a Monday morning. It's raining here in the UK, as always. Um, what I've done is starting the filming in here, because as soon as I go outside, the camera will go really dark, because it is dark outside, as you can see. Um, so what we're going to do is, I fitted a white light positioning PTZ. I'm going to go out there, show you the effect of it. I've turned all the compound lights off, even though there is street lighting outside of that. The compound is dark. So you should see the effect of the white light PTZ. So if you follow me, see, oh, hello, I'm still here. Don't be scared of the dark. So if we go up here and trigger the white light PTZ, you can see the doorway there. I've actually set a VCA trigger up. So there we go. So you can see that's the white light PTZ with the white light on fitted above the doorway so we'll head back that is quite bright you can see there okay so and I'm back it's not black magic it's just a trick of the camera. So I'm going to go back inside, show you the quick setup of that video, of the PTZ, and uh, things to be aware of, because it's not quite as simple as you'd like to think. And um, they have thrown a curveball in there. So I'm going to go on to the web browser, show you a quick view of the PTZ. So I'll see you in two seconds. Thanks, guys. Okay, and uh, welcome back to We're Nice and uh, Dry. It's not raining inside, luckily. So we're going to open up the web browser. You'll see here, that's the outside. So I've got actually a line across our entrance to the site there. So any time that line crossing is triggered, the white light comes on. And we can set that up to a maximum of 300 seconds. Or I can call preset on and off here. So we've got preset 47 is the white light on. So if I call that, give it a second, you can see straight away it's illuminated that area. And then I can turn it off. So obviously, if, what you have to imagine, if the distance is quite far um, or there's already illumination, you can see there, there's street light in there. The white light doesn't appear to have much of an effect, but it is a massive deterrent. So if it's in like a rural a construction site, town centre, etc., trust me, that white light does prove. One, gives you the additional evidence. Two, will act as a deterrent. And three, looks nice. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so if I go to an area, what we'll do is move to an area where the white light will be more effective. So if I, so you can see there, my car is there by the door. It's a dark fighter PTZ. Um, it's adjusted now to the light. But if I turn that white light on. Oh, and we got a bit of uh, dirt on the lens. Yeah, we need to get that off. But you can see there, um, it's illuminated the truck much better. In fact, I can actually see inside the truck now. So if I do that. So should there be anyone doing anything suspicious inside that truck, the white light illuminates it sufficiently for me to see what they may be doing. Um, there's nobody in there. Obviously, I'm in here. Again, we could perform a scan of the site. You can see that white light really does prove beneficial. Compared to... So if I were to turn the white light off. There we go. So again, whilst the PTZ is dark fighter, you get that lovely color image. Because um, there is street lighting available. You can see the benefit of having that white light on. It's huge. So, the operator can turn the white light on and off as required. Again, if I go around to the bin store area, so we zoom out of there. Let's take a look at our bin store area here.
traditionally a vulnerable area, so it could be, uh, you know, people suspiciously putting stuff in the bin, setting fire to it, um, unwanted activity. So I turn my white light on. Again, I can zoom in there. The white light adjusts even more. And again, I can perform a scan of the area. I'm really picking up any of those details. Again, if that bin or the PTZ was higher up, we'd actually see what was going on inside there. Move across to our sheltered area. And you can see that white light really does have an effect. Okay, so let's call back to preset one. Preset, actually turn the white light off. Call preset one. So that's manual operation of the white light. A couple of things to be uh, wary of under configuration. Now they haven't really made it that easy to see where the white light setting is. You can see that's the part code for the PTZ, so uh, the W uh, stands for the white light, and we do this in a like the traditional white color or the black color. I fit in the black color, so you do a white and a black. We stop both here at DVS, so if you need either, fantastic. Uh, 360 again, the position system, if you don't know, is a bottom mount PTZ, so fits on top of the column, unrestricted view, very fast, um, and the PTZ and the IR or white light in this instance to do rotate together from on either side of it like a robot's head um, And this does have a wiper infrared and white light combined. So it's a very powerful solution What you'll see here You can turn the IR on and off as you would in any PTZ, but under image Wait for it to catch up. We should see. Yeah, it's all normal. Making sure I've set everything. IR mode is set to auto, but I can change that to. Um, I put it into day mode because it is a dark fighter and um, with a white light, but I can change that back to auto or night. Again, they're all fine. The one thing I want to show you is under PTZ, it's, a, it's not obvious looking through those menus. You can see how it's not obvious where the white light setting is. What you'll see. I'll wait for this to catch up. Just want to show you all of the menus so you can see I'm not lying to you. Okay, so it was that confusing that obviously I couldn't find it on the first go, so I had to go through the PTZ myself. Um, I've got the latest firmware, which we actually stripped a few things out of it to neaten it up. But what you'll see is under PTZ and basic settings, you've got your white light duration there. So you can put it from zero to, save that, up to 300. So this is the time period of how long the white light stays on after you've triggered it from a VCA or alarm input. So the current methods of linkage are manually turn it on and off via the preset call or turn it on and off with the VCA, so line crossing, intrusion, etc., or an alarm input linkage. So we set the duration there, so I'm gonna say 300 seconds, that's, you know, should be fine for what I want. Click save, no other settings, under event, go to smart event, Under line crossing, so you set your line crossing up, so we've got it across our entrance. So schedule is between the times I want it to come on, out of hours, and then linkage action. It's important you tick that notify surveillance center there. That notify surveillance center is what turns that white light on and up. I have asked for a box to be put underneath a tick box that says white light, but the engineers seem to think that's acceptable. So don't forget, linkage method is notify surveillance center. That is how you turn it on and off. So if you've struggled with one of these units, that is where you're going to be struggling. Once you've done that, click save. The white light will now be linked to it. But other than that, that's all you need to do. Back to live view. And anyone that triggers that from now on will turn that white light on and off. So they're either going to be caught in better detail or deterred. 
So hope you enjoyed the video. It's a nice simple device. We stock them. If you need any more questions, please ask us here at DVS, any of your sales technical, myself, Martin, anyone, doesn't really matter. We all should be able to help you. Other than that, enjoy your week. I'm off to Hike Vision HQ today. So I'll see you next week for another how-to video. Have a good week and see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.